Greetings, students. It is now time for math. We're having fun learning math today. Math today is fun. We learn from our success. We learn from everyone. We're having fun learning math today. Math today is fun. We learn from our success. We learn from everyone. We're learning to think. Think today. Thinking today is fun. Thinking helps us solve problems. Solving problems helps everyone. We're learning to think. Think today. Thinking today is fun. Thinking helps us solve problems. Solving problems helps everyone. What is our learning target? I can recognize and draw shapes. Remember our vocabulary words, boys and girls. A shape has sides. Can you say the word side? And corners or angles where the sides meet. If there is a shape with only four straight sides and four corners or angles, that shape has two names, its own name and the name quadrilateral. Remember, quad means four. Do you remember these shapes? Say them with me. Circle, triangle, square, hexagon, oval, rectangle, rhombus, trapezoid, pentagon, octagon. Great job, boys and girls. All of these shapes have their own name. Can you find the shapes that have their own name? and the name quadrilateral? Say them now. Now let's see if you were right. A square is also a quadrilateral because it has four straight sides and four corners. A rhombus is also called a quadrilateral because it has four straight sides and four corners or angles. A rectangle is a quadrilateral because it has four straight sides and four corners or angles where the sides meet. And the trapezoid is also known as a quadrilateral because it has four straight sides and four corners or angles where the sides meet. Let's sing our number prefix song so that when you see a shape, you can count its sides and you'll know the prefix of that shape. Penta five, hexa six, octa eight, di two, tri three, quad four, deca 10. Did you remember to hold up that amount of fingers when you said the number? Let's try it again, a little bit faster. Penta five, hexa six, octa eight, di two, tri three, quad four, deca 10. Great job, boys and girls. Let's sing it one last time. Penta five, hexa six, octa eight, di two, tri three, quad four, deca 10. Great job. Now, Let's watch a video about the trapezoid. This video comes from Brainsy Games by education.com on YouTube. And it's called the Trapezoid Shape Song. Everybody knows what it means to be you. A rectangle, four sides, four corners to view. They know the qualities of my many shaped brothers, but no one knows who I am, not like these others. Don't be so sad, my friend, you should have pride. They will fall fast for you once they have tried. Cone is a party hat, cube can play dice. But you've got four sides to you. I think that's nice. Silly.
and there is a can ready to drink. You're a great popcorn box, that's what I think. Be proud, my trapezoid, you're a rowboat. One pair of parallels, but you can float. I'm not like you are square, but I'm a jewel. I am a trapezoid, different and cool. Now, please get a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper out. Let's look at the soccer ball. There are two shapes on the soccer ball, a black shape and a white shape. First, I want you to write about the black shape. What shape do you see? Talk about how many sides are in the shape and what is the name or names of the shape. Then, look at the white shape on the soccer ball. What shape do you see now? Count the sides of the shape. What name or names does that shape have? And try to draw the shapes. Pause the video and have fun. Let's see what you said. The black shape has one, two, three, four, five sides, and one, two, three, four, five corners or angles. I remember in the song that we sing every day that penta means five. So this shape is a pentagon. Is it also a quadrilateral? No, remember a quadrilateral only has four sides and four corners. So this shape just has one name, pentagon. Did you get the answer right? If you did, pat yourself on the back. Now let's look at the white shape. Let's first count the sides and angles. I see one, two, three, four, five, six sides. And one, two, three, four, five, six corners or angles where the sides meet or touch. Hmm, if I think back to the song that we sing every day, about number prefixes and shape prefixes, I know that hexa means six. So this is a hexagon with six sides and six corners. Could this also be a quadrilateral? No, remember quad means four. And this has more than four sides and four corners or angles. Did you say that this was a hexagon? If you did, pat yourself on the back. If you didn't, it's okay. Just fix your answer. Now let's go back over what we've learned today. Remember, all shapes have sides and most shapes have corners where those sides meet if the sides are straight. Remember that some shapes have two names, their own name, like a rectangle, square, trapezoid, parallelogram, and also the name quadrilateral, because quad means four. And no matter what the shape is called, if it has four sides and four corners or four angles, it has two names, its own name, and the name quadrilateral. Remember, we reviewed the shapes circle, triangle, square, oval, hexagon, rectangle, rhombus, trapezoid, pentagon, and octagon. Maybe later today, you can draw these shapes and write their names under each shape to help you remember their names. Today's assignment is, can you read it with me? 
How can these shapes be classified? What that means is, what name can you call both of these shapes? I want you to use your pencil and paper, draw a picture of these shapes, and then write down the names that you can call these shapes below your picture. And tell why these shapes have those names. Pause the video and have fun working. Then check back to see if your answer was correct. You should have said that these shapes have two names each. Shape A is a trapezoid, like the trapezoid table in our room. Shape A also has another name because it has four sides and four angles. And that is a quadrilateral because quad means four. Shape B has two names also. Its first name is a rectangle and its other name is also a quadrilateral because it has four straight sides and four corners or angles. If you got your answer correct, pat yourself on the back. If you didn't, that's okay. Just fix your answer. Continue to have fun working with shapes using your My Math Workbook pages, Volume 2, starting at page 739 and ending on page 782. Remember, just complete one or two pages. When you're finished with that, log into Moby Max and continue to practice your math skills. Remember, Moby Max is on your computer. You can go to Mrs. Hefner's blog, click on the link that says Moby Max and log in using your login code, which is found on the back of your homework folder. Thank you for joining me with math today. Have fun.